Welcome to this tutorial, that shows you how Searchlight's menus can be configured. By default, all of Searchlight's menus are visible to the user. However, each menu option is configurable, as I will show you in this tutorial. The visibility of each menu item can be viewed as follows. First, select the configuration option, from the top menu bar. Then, select the edit current configuration file menu option, and then select the menus option, whereupon all of the configurable menu items are displayed. As can be seen, each menu item can be set to either, advanced, basic or hidden. As you select some of the menu items, it can be seen that their configuration value is set to advanced, which is the default setting. As detailed in the tutorial, Introduction to Searchlight's main screen, Searchlight operates in either advanced or basic mode, and it is the active mode that defines whether a menu item will be displayed or not. If the program is running in basic mode, then only those menu items, that have been set to basic, will be displayed. So, if I switch Searchlight to run in the basic mode, by unchecking the advanced mode checkbox, at the bottom left of the screen, the menu items mainly disappear. This is because, all of the menu items, by default, are set to advanced. However, it should be noted, that when running in basic mode, the exit menu item, under the files menu, and the view license and import license menu items under the license menu, which itself is under the utilities menu, will always be displayed. So, as an example, let's enable the menu options, encryption, and search, to be visible in the basic mode. In order to do this, we must first re-enable advanced mode, and then, navigate to the menu's configuration option as before. Then, set the encryption menu option to basic, and select save. Then, set the search menu option to basic and select save, and then exit and save changes. Then, on enabling basic mode, by unchecking the advanced mode checkbox, we can see that the encryption and search menu options are now visible. However, neither of these menus have any sub-menu options, and that's because we didn't make any of their respective sub-menu items visible, by setting them to basic. In order to see the menu options, underneath these menus, we must set their configuration values to basic. So, in order to do that, we must first revert back to advanced mode, and once again navigate to the menu configuration screen. Then, set the value of the encrypt files menu item to basic, and select save. Then set the value of the local search menu item to basic, and select save. Then, exit and save changes. Now, on selecting basic mode, we can see that the encryption menu, has the encrypt file submenu option is available, and the search submenu item is also available. It should be noted, that if the menu item is set to hidden, then the menu item is not displayed in neither basic nor advanced mode. The menu configuration settings, are set and persisted, within each searchlight configuration file, which by default is called searchlight.ini, and resides in searchlight's files folder. By default, searchlight will execute using the searchlight.ini file. However, if a configuration file name is supplied as a runtime parameter, then that configuration file will be used instead. This provides a great deal of user configurability, as each Searchlight desktop shortcut, could be configured to run with a different configuration file as required. Well, that concludes this brief tutorial on Searchlight's menus. I hope you found it useful, and don't forget to check out the many other Searchlight tutorials available. And thank you for watching.